G'day guys, M Tim here. Today I'm going to show you the last of the shader nodes. Um, the first one we're going to do is holdout. The holdout is pretty much how it is when it's un not connected to anything. It pretty much blocks all the it, it blocks all of the uh, materials, um, color, diffuse, roughness, index, reflection, refraction, and it's mostly used for compositing and masking. Um, the only downfall is, however, the shadow that's been left onto it. Um, this can be either good, um, useful or not useful. I'm pretty sure you can um, uh, do some compositing to uh, mix both of them out. Um, but let's just say you want to have a uh, you want to have a pass that you can um, control only the textures. The holdout will um, will um, will uh, be of use to this. All you have to do is change um, with it a uh, with a color range uh, kick um, click. Uh, chroma keying, click or whatever, very useful for compositing and such. Uh, next thing we have the mix shader. Now this is my favourite one. With this one you can do a lot of crazy stuff. Let's get a velvet. Uh, the mix shader is um, mixes both shaders together and you can create some pretty froky stuff. So let's get a blue um, with a velvet. As you can see it's a glossy mixed with a blue sort of velvet and you can do this with each and every kind of material. You can also have an add texture. The add texture um, adds the uh, textures together which rev um, mostly resolves revolves around uh, bright, uh, bright executions. So let's just have a a glass and a transparent. Uh, very bright as you can see. Um, let's just have a... So as you can see, um, the... Uh, oh, let's add the roughness a bit up. As you can see, uh, the uh, transparent, the translucent... Oh wait, that's transparent. No wonder. Let's put the translucent up. Sort of get those two confused. As you can see, it adds both of the textures together. It doesn't mix them. Um, but it can be very useful for um, doing bum maps, if you know how to use it correctly. But very useful and very efficient. And you can also do this. Not only do we have a mix and add, but we can also mix and add the mix and add. Mixception. Bam. 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 Bam and bam. And we'll have the material outputs. And now we have a big graph that looks like you know a lot about the texturing where you don't really know that much. Bit of a joke. And you can just create the most fascinating um, textures with this. Um, I'll be using this sort of preset with the um, generators that Octane has in the textures um, to really show the true potential, but yeah, it's amazing what we can do with the uh, mix and add textures. I hope you like this, uh, this tutorial, and next we'll be going through the generators